Welcome to HVAC exam practice test. Our topic today is principles of electrical and refrigeration theory. Use the link in the description to download the app on the app store for free practice tests. Number 1. What type of meter uses its own power source? A wattmeter. B voltmeter. C ammeter. D ohmmeter. The correct answer is D ohmmeter. Explanation. Ohm meters measure resistance and cannot be used in a live circuit, therefore must have its own power source. Number 2. What is the term used to describe the input side of a transformer? A low inductive side. B high inductive side. C primary side. D secondary side. The correct answer is C primary side. Explanation. The input side of a transformer is known as the primary side. Number 3. How much resistance must be placed in a 240 volt circuit in order to limit the power to 480 watts? A. 60 ohms. B. 120 ohms. C. 240 ohms. D. 720 ohms. The correct answer is B. 120 ohms. Explanation. 480 watts divided by 240 volts will equal 2 amps, therefore Ohm's law will apply the formula. Voltage divided by amps equals resistance, or 240 divided by 2 equals 120 ohms. Number 4. What would the capacitance be if two capacitors are wired in parallel, one having 25 microfarad rating and the other having 5 microfarad rating? A. 4.17 microfarad. B. 20 microfarad. C. 30 microfarad. D. 125 microfarad. The correct answer is C. 30 microfarad. Explanation. To calculate the total capacitance of the two capacitors when they are wired in parallel, we make use of the following formula. CT equals C1 plus C3. In this case CT equals 25 plus 5. Then we get the total capacitance of 30 microfarad. Number 5. A parallel circuit consists of three resistors. Resistance 1 is 24 ohms, resistance 2 is 60 ohms, resistance 3 is 40 ohms. What is the total resistance of the circuit? A 12 ohms. B 24 ohms. C 124 ohms. D 220 ohms. The correct answer is A 12 ohms. Explanation. The smallest resistor among the three is 24 ohms. It is noted in a circuit law that the total resistance of a parallel circuit is always less than the smallest resistor. Therefore the total must be less than 24 ohms. In this case, we do not need to apply a formula. The correct answer should be 12 ohms because the other answers, 24 ohms, 124 ohms, and 220 ohms, are all greater than the smallest resistor, 24 ohms. Number 6. Which of the following would be considered an inductive load? A transformer. B start capacitor. C solid state relay. D electric heat strip. The correct answer is A transformer. Explanation. An inductive load is a load consisting of a coil of wire which will cause current to lag voltage such as a motor or transformer. Number 7. Which of the following is not a factor in determining impedance in an alternating current circuit? A resistance. B frequency. C capacitive reactance. D inductive reactance. The correct answer is B frequency. Explanation. Impedance is based on resistance, capacitive reactance and inductive reactance. The formula to calculate the impedance is, the impedance equals the square root of the resistance squared plus the difference of the capacitive reactance and the inductive reactance squared. Number 8. A transformer has 1200 turns of wire in the primary coil and 120 turns in the secondary coil. What will the output voltage be if 240 volts are applied? A. 24 volts. B. 240 volts. C. 480 volts. D. 
120 kilovolts. The correct answer is A24 volts. Explanation. The ratio of turns is 10 to 1, therefore 240 divided by 10 equals 24 volts secondary. Number 9. Which is produced around the conductor when current flows? A. A capacitance field. B. A negative field. C. A static field. D. A magnetic field. The correct answer is D. A magnetic field. Explanation. When current flows through a conductor, a magnetic field is created and extends out from the conductor. Number 10. Which of the following determines single phase motor speed? A. The number of stator poles. B. The direction of coils in the stator. C. Supply voltage. D. The circumference of the rotor. The correct answer is A the number of stator poles. Explanation. Alternating current motor speed is based on the number of poles in the motor. For example, two-pole motor would be 3600 revolutions per minute, and four-pole motor would be 1800 revolutions per minute. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.